All right, and welcome to the show. Hello, friends. This is Shuddy Uppy. Let's talk King of Queens podcast. My name's Steve Lott, and we have a great show for you today. Uh, I'm very excited for this first episode. So uh, we already kind of talked about ourselves on the intro episode, the triple zero. And uh, so we'll get right into it. So I'm joined by my uh, co-host, as always, Mr. Dustin Dusty Salisbury. He's uh, famous for his hilarious uh, King of Queens TikTok reenactments with his lovely wife. Dusty, how are you? What's up, you demented old circus monkeys? I'm doing great today. It has been a beautiful day here in North Carolina, 70 degree weather, loving it. I hope you guys are doing great. Yeah, it was awesome up here in New York. Uh, it was probably about 60, 62. And, uh, you know, I work in the city and it was, I went out at lunch and it was, oh, it was so beautiful. I can't wait. Feels like spring. Nice. Yes, yes. I love it. We are joined today by a very special guest. He is a husband a father of three wonderful kids, a high, sp- high school baseball coach. He's a high school business education teacher. He's a lifelong Mets and Raiders fan and the biggest Kiss fan I know. And <laughs> he is my cousin, Mike. Cousin Mike, what's up, bud? Hey, guys. How's it going? It's a pleasure to be on here. Uh, we're glad you said yes, and uh, we're, we're happy to have you on. By the way, happy early belated birthday, or early belated, happy early birthday. Thank you. Very much. Happy birthday. You got the yeah. old guy on the show today. Oldest son of us all. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Uh, my son's, not to get too f- off topic, just to start the very first show, but my son's birthday is tomorrow, and Mike's birthday is the following day. So my son was born on the West Coast at 1030 at night. So technically, it was 130 in the morning the following day. So Mike always says... Jaden, my oldest, has the same birthday as him. So that's right. I just wanted to get that out of the way because <laughs> I know that'll be coming up. It's that time of year. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> so that lovely podcast intro music is a actually a cover of the theme song of the King and Queens by our friend Crispy Jones, and he is from Germany. Hopefully, we'll have him on the show one of these days. So today we are going to talk about season two, episode six. It was entitled Dug Out. It was written by mm-hmm. Kathy Yuspa and Josh Goldsmith. It was directed by Rob Schiller, and it originally aired on October 25th, 1999. So it's been a while. Woo. Man. Love 99. That was the year I graduated high school, man. The 90s were <laughs> yeah. the best. 90s were the best, man. We should, we should branch off one day and do a 90s podcast, but I digress. Heck yeah. Oh, All yeah. Right. So we're going to do a quick uh, episode synopsis, and then we're going to go right into trivia for our special guest. So the episode synopsis for tonight, Doug scores four great tickets to the Mets game, but he decides to bring Arthur as one of his guests because he and Carrie hurt Arthur's feelings. So that's a good, <laughs> so that's a good uh, I think that's a good overview of what uh, we're going to get into tonight. Uh, so we're going to dive right into it, Mike. So the way we do right. it, we're going to do some trivia, and it kind of goes along with the show. And it also, uh, we have some other trivia having to do, you know, with other things. You'll, you'll see. You'll get a hang of it. You nervous? Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready to go. All right. <laughs> so question number one, how did Doug get the four tickets to the Mets game? How did Doug get it? He got it. He got it by being employee of the month. Yep, that's right. Driver of the month. And uh, driver, the ooh, ooh. <laughs> so uh, so one yeah, one. what's that? One for one, one for one, that's right? Who's keeping, yeah, but who's keeping score, you know? <laughs> that was easy, all right. <laughs> so they're talking at the uh, at Cooper's, and Doug's talking about his uh, driver of the month. And Richie chimes in, he says he puts out a fire that week. Where did he put out that fire? And you, I, I could give you multiple choice if you want. Um, yeah, give me. Yeah, go, let's go for multiple. All choice. right. So, he, old folks' home, a nursery school, a gas station, or a car fire. Nursery school. Very oh. good. Very good. Yeah. Good job, Mike. <laughs> two for two. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. So we're moving along here. 
You feeling getting getting confident to get the first two out of the way? Very confident. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Doug had to pick up Arthur from work. What type of place does Arthur work? Uh, does Arthur work at a hot dog stand, a supermarket, a gas station, or a pretzel place? Ooh, uh, let's see. I know he worked at pretzel place at one time. And he gave uh, the uh, free pretzel tickets away. <laughs> so that was. Yeah. But I don't know when that was. Um, I want to say maybe that was in a later episode. So let's go with the hot dog stand. Ooh, you should have went with wow. your your initial gut. Yes. Wow. <laughs> All right. It was a pretzel place, Mike. It was a pretzel okay. place. Okay. All right. All right. So they. Uh, they get home finally, and uh, Doug's watching TV. Uh, Carrie, the, the whole reason why uh, Doug had to pick up Arthur from work was because Carrie was late. So the, when Carrie finally gets home, what's Doug watching on TV? He's watching the Letterman Top Ten. Very good. Mike. All right, three for four, Hi. three for four. All right, next question here, Mike. What type yes. of pie does Arthur claim to have invented? his own pie so this one's a little a little tricky so i'll give you uh multiple choice it's pumpkin crumb cake apple or cherry that's crumb cake crumb cake yeah. very good yes. very good awesome you're kicking butt here you know, man. It, was a, it was a crumb cake <laughs> it wasn't a pie it was a crumb cake <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right so part of the storyline right is spence and uh richie because richie's still on the show at this point um they're trying to get the final ticket. You know, this is before uh, they give <laughs> Arthur the ticket. What does Spence eat in order to try and win the extra Mets ticket? He has to eat something in under a minute. Yeah. He eats, I believe it was, butter. He very, ate butter. Very good. Very good. So nice. how many butter balls did he have to eat? Oof. Ooh. Uh... Ten, very close, very close. We'll give it, we'll give it to you. It was twelve. It was twelve butter balls in under a minute. Twelve. Okay. We're very technical right. here in the show, right, Dusty? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> At least I didn't have to uh, Richie and uh, Spencer have to measure something. <laughs> that was a great line. You know, why don't we measure right. something? You know, like the length of something. Okay. <laughs> Spence goes okay. All right. <laughs> 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 moving along here, moving along. They're at the Mets game, and uh, Deacon uh, Deacon is sitting next to Arthur, and uh, Arthur says, Arthur is trying to figure out Deacon's last name. So what is Deacon's last name? Palmer. Palmer, very good. That was a softball. That was a Mike. softball. All right, Mike, here you go. Th this, These you should get. What was the Mets okay. home field called in 1999? Shea Stadium. Shea Stadium. Very good. Good old, Ooh. good old, good old half built Shea. <laughs> <laughs> Go Cubbies. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, we did mention at the top of this show that uh, Mike is a lifelong Mets fan. Who's your I'm favorite a big player, Mike? Chicago fan. Who's my favorite player? Yeah. David Cohn. I knew that one. David nice. Cohn. Mm -hmm. And you're a Chicago Quite fan, true. right? You said, uh, Dusty? Yes, indeedy. Who's your favorite player of all time? Oh, of all time, it's not a Chicago uh, Cubs player. Uh oh, it's actually uh, um, Chipper Jones. Was really, my all-time favorite player growing up as a kid. Yeah, I just because I was a switch hitter when I played. Okay, so I mean, Chipper Jones is just my all-time favorite player. It'd be between him and Smoksy. Oh wow, wow! So two Braves. Yep, it started off as Don Mattingly when I was little, and then I was like, you know, I need Don Mattingly. He he was he was a great ball player. Don't get me wrong, but when Chipper Jones came into the league, I was like, ah, man, he's such a great ball player. That's my new favorite ball player. All right. Well, you know what? You see my Yankees hat here. Nobody else can see it because we're uh, we're on an audio only. But yeah, I'm a huge Yankees fan. I love Don Mattingly. That's my favorite player of all time. So awesome player, Donnie Baseball. Donnie Baseball. Right. Love it. Uh, all right, Mike. So you should get this next one too, pretty easily. What is the Mets home field called now in 2021? City Field. City Field. <laughs> Bonus points. When did uh, City Field open? 
Oof. Uh, when did it open? Uh, 2007. Ooh, close, close. I'm pretty sure it's the same Eight? year. As, no, 2009. It was the same year as the Yankee Stadium, right? Wow. Could be. Could be. <laughs> uh, I thought I had that. I thought I had that one. I just threw that one out there. <laughs> I was so confident. Don't let your Mets fans, uh, all your all your uh, Mets fan buddies, hear this podcast, or at least this part of it. Okay. Come on now. Yeah. All right. What does Mets stand for, Mike? Metropolitans. Metropolitans. That was another classic uh, classic line in the episode. Hey, what do you think about Mets fan stands for? Uh, he's trying to he's trying to butter up Arthur. He can go as Metropolitans. All right. We're almost done here. Why does Doug get arrested? He he gets arrested. He gets arrested for for going on the field and getting a foul, getting a a, a ball that that was uh, hit foul, and he grabbed it, and then he ran away from the security guard. <laughs> <laughs> That's my son-in-law. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He tries to jump over the center fence. Man. <laughs> oh my god, that is that is probably the one of the best scenes of the of that episode. I think yeah, yeah. is him trying. It's just bouncing off the wall. No, yeah. it's funny because you know nowadays, like they just tackle the crap out of you if you run on the field. You know. Yep. Uh, yeah. So, uh, why does Carrie get arrested? <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, Carrie gets arrested because uh, she's. I think she's trying to buy buy something for Arthur, and she's she's in line, and she ends up she ends up in the Met jail with. Uh, Doug for I think spinning on a concession guy. There you go, Mike. You are on fire, my friend. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. Two more here, and then uh, we're going to move on to some uh, quotes and pondering. What number did Mike Piazza wear as a member of the Mets? Wow, I better get this one right. You better get this one right. Uh, Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Good job. Piazza. Piazza. Piazza! <laughs> that one's for you, Dusty. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, and then uh, final question, Mike. What year yep. did uh, Mike Piazza get elected to the Hall of Fame? Oh, man. Ooh. I told you, man. Ooh, that's a that's a tough one. Hmm. It was actually 10. What's that? 2010? 2010? No, it was actually a lot later than I thought, too. Really? Dusty, Dusty, you want to take a shot? 2016. Very good. Wow. Well, Dusty was confident in that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I cheated. Oh, you cheated? <laughs> Do you have my... I uh, looked at our notes. You looked at our notes? <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> no, I looked at it earlier today. That, that was like one of the my main things I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not to Not to get off topic, but, you know, Piazza, he, he retired... Obviously, a, at least five years before that, he wasn't playing in eleven. Right. Two thousand eleven yeah. was he? Mm. Wow, that was yeah. Yeah, that's something. That's something. Uh, to, Mets fans out there, you can look that up and get back to us on that one. So Piazza, I love that part. <laughs> this man has so puking funny. in his future. <laughs> All right. So, Dusty, you want to take us through some uh, some quotes and some ponderings from? Uh, do you have our notes up or no? Oh yeah, let's see. Right here. All right. Quotes and pondering. Spitch, Spence and Richie are fighting over who gets the final Mets ticket. Let's measure something, you know, like length of something. <laughs> that part was hilarious. When Spence was like, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, that was just. And then Richie's face, like, after he said that was just hilarious. Yeah, because you're not expecting Spence to, to be confident right? at all. You know, you don't seem you don't right. doesn't seem like the type of guy who you know might be confident in measuring something. So, uh, so yeah, that that, yeah. Was, that was great. I love that, and I love Richie's face as well. Um, he's yeah. totally defeated. He's totally defeated. <laughs> yeah, he's. <laughs> so this is this is like a random. Uh, one. This is like a random one. I actually posted it uh, in the fan group today, Dusty. Imagine the possible. This is Arthur talking to Doug in the car. As, he, as they're sitting in traffic, right? And they're going along. Imagine the possibilities. You can sleep in it at night and eat it in the morning. <laughs> like, what do you think? What do you think that could be? What could that possibly be that you sleep in it and then you eat it when you wake up? 
Oh man, like I, a like a like a oversized <laughs> lettuce sleeping bag or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't a know. A waffle house. A wa- <laughs> Boom. Oh, there you go. A waffle house. <laughs> a waffle, a waffle, uh, like a waffle tent, you know? We could yeah, sell right? that. <laughs> you could. You should patent right? that right now. This will stop the podcast, patent that, and get going. We're going to be millionaires, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so, Carrie does the impression of, of uh, Arthur. What do you, you guys think of that? What, Mike, what do you think of the impression? <laughs> That was hilarious. He walks in right, right behind her. <laughs> Hello, Douglas. I invented Douglas, a type I'm of pie. I invented old circus monkey. That one's for you, <laughs> Dusty. I love you're, it. <laughs> you're frozen, by the way. I can't see you. Oh, am I? I don't know why. Another thing uh, who shows up kind of randomly throughout the series is the Stanley the dog. He's like a beagle or yeah. something, or a little hound. Yeah, he's like a little hound, right? So I want to know. I don't know the answer, but I want to know how many episodes that dog is actually in. Kind of like uh, the sister, you know, Carrie's sister who was in the first couple of episodes or the first season. And then after that, she's like written off the right. show. Like, I, I feel like they they yeah. put the dog in there just as like a convenient, you know, like stand in joke or something like that. Or if they need him for, you know, the scene or something. Yeah. Stanley yeah. had to been in. Oh, I think the rest of the season two, or maybe not the rest of season two. I mean, he did get him from uh, the neighbors. Right, right. The uh, Saxkeys, right? No, not the Saskies. <laughs> Saxies. It yeah, was the Saskies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> Speak. Speaking of dogs, Dusty, you have a couple of dogs, don't you? Woo! More than a couple. I got five. Wow. Five dogs. Five yep. dogs, oh. five dogs, a sugar glider, a cat, and a rabbit. <laughs> so what? What's a sugar glider? So a sugar glider is it's a marsupial. Um, it's, it's it's crazy. It's it's like a flying squirrel, but they're really really small. They're almost like the size of your hands, but smaller. They're they're really fun. They come out really at night, but um, they run around and they'll like glide from like area to area. Like we'll get them on top of our curtains. One day, and like you hold out your hand, and they'll just jump and glide to your hand. Oh, that's awesome! Really fun, though. Yeah, they're really, really fun. It sounds like something Doug would like. They got a little pouch. Like, you're right. Yes, he would. <laughs> what kind of dogs do you have? So we got a pit bull bulldog mix. Uh, that's my son's dog. Um, we got her when uh, my son was three uh, for Christmas, and we have my wife has a Pomeranian Chihuahua mix and a Shih Tzu Chihuahua mix. And then my daughter has a chihuahua, and I have a corgi healer mix. Damn, man. Wow. That's a, that's a, lot, of, that's a lot of dog food, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. But the good thing is, like, all these dogs are under 45 pounds. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and then, of course, my, my wife has a dog business, so that's even more dogs. <laughs> yeah, it's like... I'm not even joking. It's like six or seven extra dogs in our house. Oh wow! In your house? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It gets nuts. I got I got one dog. That's, that's I got one, one of the reasons. <laughs> well, what kind of dog do you have? I got a. Uh, oh, what do I have? A chocolate lab uh, mixed with a husky. He looks more like a chocolate oh. lab, but uh, he's uh, his name is Jackson. He's a he was a rescue. Looks from more like a chocolate lab. Has the eyes of a. Of you know, a husky. It, when he was younger, when he was a puppy, he had the eyes of a husky. But then, it, then they yeah. changed, you know. Wow, we got a little off topic there, huh, Mike? You, you have any pets, Mike? <laughs> I don't. We have a goldfish. That's oh, okay. <laughs> what's your goldfish, goldfish name? <laughs> huh, Goldie. 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 I was gonna guess Goldie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, so they're at the Mets game, right? What, do you notice anything like as far as? Because I'm trying to think of the uh, the names they they announced. I know it was like number four was Greg Jacobs. Now Mike, who number 4 was Robin Ventura, right? In the 90s? Yeah, I don't I think that was totally made up. I think that was totally made up. That name whatever they announced. Yeah. Yeah, they do that a lot. Yeah. They, you know, maybe they don't I think so. They would have probably had to like pay the person like every rerun and everything. I wonder if they pay Mr. <laughs> they probably Piazza! have to pay Piazza. <laughs> <laughs> Piazza. Demented old circus monkey. 
so you mentioned earlier, Mike, that uh, Carrie was going for something for Arthur. It was actually a Kulaku, some sort of ice cream thing. You ever hear of that before? No. Yeah, so no, I, did, I did a little digging, and uh, apparently they're not available in, in New York. They're more of like a Southern California, uh, like they're right. Dodger games and things like that. That was weird. That's interesting that they say that for that episode because he he's a you know kevin james he's a huge mets fan huge mets fan right he's is he also a jets fan yeah Yeah. mets and jets yeah i don't know maybe because it was like still season two like it was still early on like they they didn't want to he didn't want to like step on anybody's toes or something so it's like ah just put it in there cool cool whatever you get the point Mm -hmm. was there like a she she had a huge line so that that's something i wanted to talk about too yeah, she was she was waiting in a huge line, right? But it was the beer only line. Dusty, I mean, <laughs> do you think a, a beer only line? If you can only get beer, and they're obviously very strict about it. I mean, how long does it take to to get through the line? I would say five minutes. Oh yeah, I mean they they're usually pretty quick uh, at the concession stands. But I mean, if no one's standing in the beer line, and I want a freaking Kula coo. And they're right behind you. You're gonna give me a freaking cooler <laughs> and a beer. And I'm gonna buy a beer and a cooler coo. You can give me the cooler coo right behind you if I buy the beer. <laughs> you gotta be careful. You gotta, you gotta get you thrown in the Mets jail though. Right. <laughs> That's some serious business there. Oh yeah. <laughs> get real. It's Mets jail. <laughs> get over yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so Dusty, you mentioned you're a huge Cubs fan. You ever been to Wrigley? Oh yes, I love Wrigley Field. You think they would they one would, of my favorite ballparks? One of your Say favorite. that again. No, I was gonna say, do you think they they would uh, give you a cool coup at uh, Wrigley if you were in the beer line? I don't know, man. I mean, I, I don't even know how strict they are on that. I've I to be honest, I've never when they have beer. They, they usually have their own little uh, concess stands for beer and their own little concess stands for food and drinks and all that. Yeah, that yeah. does have some yeah. beer. Right, exactly. So I've never been in that kind of situation before. If I was, though, I'd be like Carrie. <laughs> yeah, how do, you think Doug, how do you think Doug would have reacted, Mike? You think Doug would have uh, just said, all right, we'll, we'll stand in the other line for a pool of coup? Or do you think he would have went off like I think Carrie he- did? I, I think Doug would have probably grabbed a beer and it went somewhere else and not even gone back to, to uh, give him. <laughs> he would have got he would have got one of those ice creams in the little mini helmets and, uh, and been off. <laughs> oh, oh, that that brings up a good point, Mike. He tries to uh, he he buys Arthur a, a, a mini bat pen and he, and he pretends like he's a. Hey, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm a huge baseball player with a regular size bat. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was one of the good ones and then uh, he buys the pennant oh look how fun this is <laughs> Piazza! what's your what's your favorite beer mike to drink at the ballpark at the ballparks Ooh. um I, you know they, they usually have the uh the staples like bud light coors lights things like that so i probably if i'm if i'm going to grab it probably a bud light bud light yeah dusty yeah I, w- I mean, I'm a Yingling man. Oh, okay. So if they have Yinglings, <coughs> I'll grab a Yingling. But if they don't, Bud Light. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm not. I'm actually not a huge huge drinker. So if if I'm gonna get a beer, like I had a Blue Moon tonight. Uh, now I'm back yeah. on the seltzer. I'm on the coconut seltzer, guys. You should try it. It's like the nectar of the gods. Oh yeah. <laughs> what a Bud Light seltzer. No, no, no! Just a regular <laughs> non-alcoholic self. Oh. <laughs> from, yeah. from Price you, Chopper. Uh, did you say it's the nectar from gods? It's the nectar of the gods. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much Dusty. What else you got? Now I do like the parts. I mean, the demented circus monkey part. I mean, of course, that's the that's the best part of the whole movie. And, and then Doug trying to figure out if it's if he said it loud enough for where du- uh, for Arthur can hear him. <laughs> Another part that really cracks me up that we haven't talked about yet is when Arthur gets him out of jail. Okay. And uh, he was apologizing to Arthur for calling him a demented old circus. Like, and Arthur was puts his arm around. He's like, "That's okay. Usually, 
you know, I say things behind your back also. <laughs> I sometimes refer you as the fat man or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Butterball, butterball. <laughs> butterball, that's what it was. <laughs> that was a great part. Yeah, yeah, that was a good part. That's one I didn't mention. Mike, you, you, we were talking earlier before the show. So how much do you love King of Queens? Love it. My favorite show of all time. Favorite show of all time. I mean, that's that's saying something, right, all Dusty? All time. That, that goes oh, yeah. there. Oh yeah. So it goes. That it goes. goes King of Queens number one. Then yeah. is there any other shows behind it, or, or is there any shows like any close, close at there's all? There's a pretty big gap. At, there's a pretty big gap after that. I don't, I don't think anything can top uh, the Camp Queens for me. I mean, uh, we were talking about you know before about the Office. You know, the Office is great. I mean, it's just great. And Seinfeld. I mean, you can't. Yeah. You you can't like if you like Seinfeld like if you like King of Queens you like Seinfeld it's just like the same era and the same oh yeah you know I mean when when one show ended it kind of that that one the King of Queens kind of picked up right there like yep. so I mean I mean I would say you know Seinfeld's way up there as well yeah yeah they used to play Seinfeld. some classic stuff, some classic shows though like in the eighties and stuff like Married with Children and those kind of <laughs> those kind of shows going back way back. Way back, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Man. I wasn't allowed to watch Mary with Children. No, you be you be wouldn't let me watch Mary with Children. Oh man, and so, I and I didn't show it to you, or I did show it to you when you came you, over. You, you probably did. You probably did. This guy, <laughs> he's such a huge and because he would he would tape things, and then you know we I would always go over Mike's house and uh, do sleepovers, and like Mike would stay up like super late. <laughs> We'd be up to like two, three yep. in the morning, and, and me, I, I'm always in bed. Like even now, I'm in bed like early, you know. <laughs> so you know, he would always he was the bad influence on me, the older cousin. That's right. Uh, That's right. But That's I remember funny. Mike showing me the '86 World Series, the when the Mets uh, beat the beat the uh, Red Sox. Nice. Yep. Yeah, you were showing me one of the games where the guy flew into the uh, onto the field. Yeah, um, yeah, the guy parachuted on um, Game Six. Game six. The amazing Mets. Yeah, amazing Mets. All right. Yeah. Definitely well, a lot of definitely a lot of bad influences going on back in the day. <laughs> you think King of Queens <laughs> is a bad influence show? Do I? Yeah. Oh no, no. no I meant no. me as a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, my eight year old watches King of Queens all the time. Oh yeah. You yeah. know, there it really is. Uh it really is a good you know, I don't want to say it's like a it's almost like a family friendly it pretty much a family friendly show they do reference like sex and stuff like that or yeah. some other things but you know at this point who doesn't right I and mean, you, you play uh, grand theft auto and you're lighting hookers on fire because you don't want to pay them <laughs> you know <laughs> so is that what you do on grand theft auto steve <laughs> <laughs> i just like driving the cars around i don't know what you do yeah. <laughs> driving and trying to parallel park <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Hey. I want to follow all the street signs, you know. Stop at red lights. Any what else? What else you got, Dusty? Mm. Before we get, um, before we get into see. ratings, um, would you? Would you? Okay, so would you change uh, anything about it? About this episode? Ah, uh, I wouldn't. I mean, I don't see anything. Uh, I would change in that show. I mean, it's you know, not every show is going to be the best, but I mean, this is this the show was perfect. I mean, the way they wrote it out and everything it was really good yeah i thought so too i think it flowed very well it wasn't there wasn't anything like forced even like the stuff between yeah. spence and uh and richie you know, right yeah that, that was all that was all funny stuff you know because they're yeah, that's the kind of like the, for the ticket was hilarious. yeah the, the fight for the ticket you know uh and then spence, spence eats the butter and he's all excited <laughs> And that's the same part. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I won. I get the ticket. <laughs> Mike, would you uh would you do anything crazy for Mets would you do anything crazy for Mets tickets? Like Spence did? Because I don't I don't think I would eat a whole tickets? Yeah, I don't think I would I eat twelve butterballs for Mets tickets. Yeah, I don't I don't think I would do that either. I don't that's gotta be that's gotta be really gross. Twelve. Maybe yeah. ten, but not twelve. <laughs> Maybe ten. <laughs> 12, 12 is just uh, right over the line. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, my that's God. The... <laughs> All right. So um, that's, that's, uh, that's over the recommended daily uh, butter. Uh, butter intake. You know, nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so uh, getting into the ratings, IMDb had uh, 360 users rate this episode. 
And uh, out of 10 stars, uh, it averaged out at 8.1, which is actually pretty – I don't. it's not the highest rating I've seen on a King of Queens episode on IMDb, but it's up there. We also put out a, a ratings poll on the Facebook group that uh, Dusty and I are in. And uh, out of 22 ratings, um, 4.1 out of 5 stars. And I'm, I'm actually kind of – well – I guess that's pretty pretty equivalent to the to the uh, 8.1. I'm kind of surprised it yeah. didn't get a little higher, though. There was actually a lot and I'm more. I'm sure it would have got a lot of higher if we got more votes also. Yeah, because um, I ended up putting it out twice today. And uh, the second time, there was like a lot, lot more three stars. So maybe I should have just oh, left, wow. left good enough alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll go through our ratings. Mike? We'll start with you. Sure. Out of uh, out of ten or out of five? Uh, let's let's do out of uh, let's do out of ten. Ten ten out Mets ten. ten Mets ten Mets tickets out of ten. How many? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, out of ten, I would give this episode out of all the episodes. I mean, there's so many, so many, so many good ones. Um, to be a fair rating on this, I'd say eight point six. All right. So so a pretty decent rating, I would say. I, I think what I think what makes it go up there is the whole is the whole Mets jail thing. I think that's just hilarious. Just <laughs> yeah. How he how he's running on the field. The Mentis old the demented old circus monkey is awesome, but the the yeah. Mets thing just does the whole how they're just in Mets jail and she gets thrown in together with him and it's just yep. it's classic. It's classic. Yep. You, you know it's funny like the details because I've I've actually preparing for the show I've watched it several you know a couple times now and. Uh, it's just so funny, like the the Mets logo inside the jail cell. <laughs> it's like you really need a Mets logo inside the jail cell. <laughs> Obviously, you know it was for the show just to make it like you know, uh, hey, they're in Mets jail. But I, I always thought that was funny. Let's you know, and and surprise, like people haven't r- written on it and and you know graffiti and all that. So yeah, that was a great part. Dusty, yeah. what about you? How many how many coolacoos would you give this this episode? Well, I'm gonna have to agree with Mike. Also, I'm gonna go with an 8.0 to an 8.5, somewhere around there. I okay. mean, like uh, Mike said, I mean, it's so many great stuff in that sh- episode, um, and so many great sh- uh, episodes in this series. But the the demented old circus monkey is like such an iconic line. I mean, I I you don't hear that anywhere else. I mean. <laughs> I've never heard anybody say demented old circus monkey on a TV show or a movie. I mean, it just, and that part just always cracks me. I mean, I'm crying laughing when he, every time he says that, I mean, that whole scene right there is so great. And then of course, uh, both of them getting thrown in jail together was, I mean, I, that was just awesome. I mean, it's a great show, a great episode. Demented so, yeah, old 8. circus 0 monkey. 8. 5 for sure. Demented old circus monkey. So, Mike, you did an 8.6. Dusty, you did an 8.5. I'm going to do uh, – I'm going to – it's definitely in the 8s. I would say like an 8.3. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I, I really don't know what my the perfect episode would be like to, to compare it against. I, I, I'm trying to think of like, you know, because like Mike said, you have to compare it against other, other episodes as well. Um, but this one's definitely like a laugh out loud, you know – episode it's it's one of the earlier episodes and in my mind i like the older episode uh, the newer not the newer ones but like the middle of the middle of the series ones or at least i thought i did because now i'm starting to watch like earlier ones and i'm like oh man these were funnier than i thought and and yeah (laughs) not to put anything down about this show because obviously it's an awesome show but you know it really throughout the whole series was uh, such a it, it it was very consistent as far as you know just being funny, right? There's not many episodes I can think of that it's that are, you know, like just like throwaways. Because yeah, and, and I think a lot of times you see that in series where uh, things get like you know beaten to death, like the same thing over and over again. And this this was on from what ninety. 99, 98, somewhere around there, all the way. You know, it ran like eight, eight seasons, right? Yeah, yeah nine seasons, like, ninety-eight to, it, uh, to two thousand seven. 
Yeah, and it, it never felt like it was getting old, even at the end. You know, like yeah, it never even the felt last like they were running out of material, or yeah, you know, I think they did a good job of mixing it up and bringing in some characters and 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 you know, not making it you know the same thing, even though it was pretty much the same people all the time. You know, for for all those years. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's a great point, Mike. That's why we brought you on. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> I love the way you articulate that. Yeah, that was really good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty, you killed that. You killed that drink, brother. Oh, this is my third one. So, I'm Is it really? Four. Since we've yeah, been on? Or I've already no? drank three third <laughs> <during> this episode. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, I'm getting ready to be on my fourth. Good for you, man. Good for you. <laughs> I love my John Daly's, man. When it's warm outside, i got to get a John Daly going. Is that the sponsor of our show today? John Dell? Yeah. <laughs> now, how close is that to an Arnold Palmer? I know they're uh, It's but... pretty close. I mean, pretty sweet tea, to... vodka, and uh, lemonade. There you go. See, I didn't even uh, know that. I was just uh, going along with you. Good, good job, Mike. Oh no, man, it's delicious. <laughs> so, if you want to be on the show, just email us King of Queens Podcast at gmail dot com. Contact us on Facebook. It's Steve Lant or Dusty Salisbury. If you're part of the Facebook group, uh, King of Queens fan group, hit us up. We're always posting. Uh, Dusty, you have those awesome TikToks. Mike, you got to check them out sometime. Do you have TikTok? I don't know, but I yeah, can he, I can find out how to how to watch them. How those kids? That are on kids, Facebook, man. They're on Facebook yeah, I'll too. Watch them on Facebook. Yeah, you guys should. You know, I'll check them out. I sound old. You guys should become friends in on the Facebooks. <laughs> No, but seriously, those those uh, TikToks are hilarious. What made you guys like start doing that? When I was on TikTok, I wanted to try something new, and I was watching King of Queens at the time, and I was like, "Man, we gotta start doing some King of Queens TikToks." So I started searching for like the sounds and stuff like that on TikTok, and I couldn't find anything. The only sounds I could find were all in German. So I guess King of Queens is huge in Germany. So there is so many King of Queens TikToks on t- uh, on TikTok that are in German. Really? Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do an English version. You're the so you're, my you're, wife. You're a pioneer, not, my friend. You're a pioneer. Right? <laughs> my wife kind of gets annoyed with them sometimes because I mean she loves King of Queens, but when I do my videos, I got to make sure they're perfect. So if I, if I don't like the way we did one scene. I got to delete it and we got to do it over again. And I'll do it like 10 to 12 times. And she's sitting there like, oh, can we please hurry up? I was like, now you know how I feel when I go shopping with you. Oh, oh, hey. oh, <laughs> take it easy. Like an episode right there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Be sleeping in the doghouse. <laughs> we'll cut that part out for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, um, check out check out the uh, what's your what's your handle for uh, TikTok? Uh, do work baseball NC. Do work baseball NC. Awesome. All right. Well, that about wraps it up. Unless you guys have anything else you want to uh, chime in. If not, forever hold your peace. All right, guys, until next time, thanks a lot thanks for, for listening. Me on. Absolutely, Mike. We're, we'll definitely have you on again. I mean, definitely a contributor to the show. You did good on your uh, trivia test. So, uh, so yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you passed. You passed. You get an A for the class. Great. Thank you. And for all you Mets fans out there, Piazza! Have a good one. Thank you, you demented old circus monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>